Students, there is one important topic which is repeatedly asking in your physiology that is oxygen dissociation curve. This oxygen dissociation curve either shifted to right side or left side. This is the question. So whenever the oxygen from the blood, so oxygen in the blood goes to the tissue, the oxygen dissociation curve will be shifted to right side. That means what? Whenever the tissue needs more oxygen, oxygen goes to the tissue. When the tissue needs more oxygen, first it is in hypoxia state, second. So there is a bond between the hemoglobin and oxygen and the bond is break down by a molecule called 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate. Whenever that molecule is increased, the bond is break, the oxygen goes to the tissue. So number three, exercise. Whenever you do exercise, your tissue needs more oxygen. So oxygen goes to the tissue and whenever you do exercise, there is an increase in temperature. So hyperthermia and number five. There is acidosis. When you do exercise, there is more of lactic acid form. So acidotic condition, again oxygen dissociation will be shifted to right side. Got it. So just opposite for the left. So left is what? Left is meant for what? If the oxygen stays in the blood, so oxygen dissociation will be shifted to left. That means what? Just opposite. Alkalosis, hypothermia, hypothermia. And there is one more thing which is very important. Fetal hemoglobin. In fetal hemoglobin, hemoglobin joins with oxygen so lovely, so strong, so oxygen dissociation is shifted to left side. Clear?